What has been making some U.S. Marines sick? The Marines of Camp Lejeune, who stand ready to fight for their country, never expected to be fighting for the truth from the government. This is a story that starts out as a mystery and ends up more than 20 years later with one man, an admission, and one Marine's win for others. Steve Osinsami reports from Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. It was four years ago when Paul Buckley felt deathly ill and rushed to the hospital. I remember walking across the parking lot of the hospital thinking, this isn't going to go well for me. He collapsed in the emergency room and woke up 10 days later. Doctors told him he had a rare and curable blood cancer that usually occurs in patients twice his age. I was in relatively good health, and here I was. How did this happen? His sister read a story that the drinking water at Camp Lejeune in North Carolina may have been contaminated by underground fuel tanks in the 1980s while Buckley was stationed there. He and his doctors started fighting, demanding the military admit that the tap water at the base poisoned him. The government denied it over and over again. It was a slap in the face, not to only myself, but to literally hundreds of thousands of others. People have died, families have been devastated, mine included, and denial, denial, denial. But then came the letter he received from the Department of Veteran Affairs. I was sitting down doing the bills, and I opened it up, and I started reading it. I was pretty broken up. I called my wife on the phone, and I pretty much couldn't talk. It read that all reasonable doubt has been resolved in your favor, and that his cancer was directly related to military service. They're not going to come to my door and say, we're sorry, Paul. So I suppose this is their way of saying, I'm sorry we did it, we're acknowledging it. By some estimates, as many as a million soldiers and their family members were exposed over 30 years. Military spokespeople we talk with describe this victory as a special case and say that Buckley had the support of doctors who specifically connected his cancer to toxins found at Camp Lejeune. And as it becomes more widely known, more doctors will be willing to take a veteran's side in a case like this. And I think we'll see admissions piling up one on top of another. Boy, good boy. Come Paul Buckley has now won the medical here, care he here, needs for as boy. long as he lives good and benefits good for his family when he good dies. Boy. But what he's really won, he says, is the truth. Steve Osinzami, ABC News, at Camp Lejeune.